We're going to solve equations that have variables on both sides. This will be the only time I write out those four words. From here on out, I call them vobs. Does that make sense? Because I don't feel like writing all those words. All right. So today, up until now, you have only had X's or Y's or Z's on one side of the equation only. Today, there's going to be some X's over here and some more X's over here. All right, let's look at a problem and let's get a game plan. on both sides. Step one, combine first. So just like yesterday, if there are things that we can combine, we need to do that first. Haley, do you see anything that can be combined? Sure, aren't they both X's? Y'all agree with Haley, we need to add the three and the seven together. So how many X's are over here? 10 X. 10X. So when we combine these two, we get 10 X and then rewrite everything else. All right, now we're ready to go to step two. Step two is my advice. This is not a rule. This is just my advice so that you don't miss the problem. Move the smaller X to the other side. So I'm gonna put here, this is my advice. Because if you want to be a rebel, you can move the larger X to the other side. You will still get the right answer but your life is gonna be more miserable than if you take my advice. Does that make sense? <laughs> and if you wanna have a miserable life, it's a free country, you're allowed. If you wanna have an easy life, listen to Coach Murphy's advice. All right, so I've got 5X over here, and I got 10X over here. Uh, who have I not picked on yet today? Alina, which one is smaller? The 10X or the 5X? 5X. All right, let's move it. How do we move? 5x from here to here. We're not trying to just get rid of the five. We're trying to move the five and the x to one to the other side. Layla. It is currently adding. We need to do the opposite of adding, which is, let's subtract five x's. I'm gonna subtract five x's over here. Now, let me put some advice here. To move the smaller x to the other side, you either add it or subtract it. All right, let's see what happens once we do that. What's 10x minus 5x? And what is 5x minus 5x? Cancels to zero. And bring down the 20. Hey, what kind of equation is it now? Now it's an easy one step. What do we do? Divide by five. Divide by five, and boom. What is our answer? X must equal four. Question. Good. You like them because you know what to do previously. If you didn't know how to get rid of the five and how to combine, then you wouldn't like these at all because you'd be like, what? Uh, yeah. Would there ever be like... 20 plus 5 on like, <coughs> the other side, and then the other one like 14 plus an X? Yeah, you might have to combine on both sides. Okay. Yeah, that so could happen. It, like, would... You still combine first. Okay. Combine everything that can be combined, either side, both sides, whatever. Yes? Is it the answer that has, like, the answer? No, if it if this one had two X's, one over here, one over here, we moved them all to one side so that we only have one number that has an X. Does it matter what side 
No. You just move the smaller one and life will be easier. All right, any questions? Let's do another one. Let's see if my mental math worked out on this one. All right, Marcella, do you see anything that can be combined? Do you all agree with Marcella that we can combine the 6 and the negative 10? Mm -hmm. What is 6 minus 10? Negative 1. Good. Is there anything to combine over here? We add those together? No. I said, is there anything to combine over here? No. No, rewrite it. Okay, which X is smaller, Haley? I mean, Madison. Um, I've already called Haley. The 8X is smaller. Do y'all agree with Matt? Yes. Let's move it over. How do I move it? Subtract it. Subtract it. Since it's plus, we're going to subtract 8X. Now, what's what happens here? Cancel. Cancels. Oh, I screwed that up. Oh, well. We'll get another one. My mental math did not work. What's 14 minus 8? 6. 6 or 7. I heard 2 A's. Six. One is right, one is wrong. Six. It is 6X. Six 14 minus 8 is 6X. Have we touched that yet? No. Bring it down. What kind of equation do I now have? Two That's a two-step. What do we need to get rid of first? Josie. Uh, yes, ma'am. How do I get rid of it? Uh, What's negative 4 plus 14? 10. Ten. And what happens to these 14s? Thank you. Bring down the 6. Do y'all see where I messed up? In my brain, I was wanting to add 14 and 4 together to get 18, because 18 is divisible by 6. But I made one of the signs wrong, and so it didn't end up being 18 and ended up being 10. But that's okay. We can go ahead and divide by 6, and we will get a decimal on this one. What is it? 1.6 repeating? Yes. Question. All right, let's do one more. Last question. Y'all agree with Kendra? Yeah. I do. Let's combine the 8x minus the 3x. What is it? 5x. 5x plus 10 equals 4 plus 5x. Which x is smaller? <laughs> Lizzie, which one's smaller? None of them. So does it matter which one we pick? Let's move one of them to the other side. Let's move this one over here. How do I move it? Subtract 5x. Subtract 5x. Uh-oh. What happens? All of my x's are gone. So this is one of my special friends. Let's see what's left. What's left? 10 equals 4. Does 10 equal 4? No. No way. So we're going to put no solution. 
Is your name this, like, one of those ones that's popular? Sure. You don't like my special friends? No. Well, too bad. Get to, you, y'all need to learn to get to work together. All right, any questions on variables on both sides? They're really not that much harder than what you've been doing. As long as you do that and then get that over, you're good to go. Then it'll be a one step or a two step, which according to the quiz, y'all didn't have any trouble with. Does that make sense? All right, you're ready for the homework.